All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily create a stone wall like this in Blender. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to reload the startup file. In my case, my startup file does not have the cube, but we do need the cube as a starting point. So, go to Add, Mesh, and then Cube. Now, we want this cube to be one unit thick and we need it to be 10 units long on the y-axis and we want it to be five units tall on the z-axis now what we want <coughs> excuse me now what we want to do is press tab to go into edit mode click on subdivide once twice three times now press A on your keyboard to select none and then orient your wall so you can see it about like that. Now press your face select icon and then press C on your keyboard in order to bring up the select circle and then just carefully select all the faces on the end here and the reason why we're doing this is because we don't want there to be this many stones we don't want the wall to be that many stones thick we only want it to be two stones thick then right click now rotate it and then press C again select these walls or these uh, faces right click rotate press C And then just keep carefully selecting all these faces around the edge. Right click and now rotate. And then this is the last side. Press C. Then right click. Now just Rotate it around, make sure you don't have any of the faces on the front or back selected. All right, now what you want to do, you want to press delete on the keyboard and then choose limit it dissolve. And then that just turns the tops, bottom, and sides into one large face while keeping the uh, multiple faces on the front and back. Now what you want to do is press tab to exit edit mode now come over here and click on create and then if you scroll all the way down you should see something called crack it if you don't see crack it right here you got to go up here to file user preferences and then find it right here crack and then enable it right there mine's already enabled so I don't need to once you put the check mark there you just click save user settings and then it should show up right here once you see it right here open it up and these are individual settings you can play with to learn how uh, what each little thing does but for this example you don't have to change anything just leave the default settings as they are and click crack it and it will go through and create a new object like a wall and it bases the stones on the uh, vertex and faces that this object had originally 
Now we don't need this object anymore so we can click delete. Now right click on the stone wall and we're going to go ahead and center that. Now I'm going to go over here to the materials tab, click new, change it from diffuse to principled and then right left click right here and give it an image texture now uh, the link to this image will be in the description of this video and whenever um, you find this image it will just be named uh, stone texture I haven't renamed it yet <laughs> I should have but anyway now once that's done go ahead and slide this over change this to UV image editor and then click right here and then open up the stone image and then just zoom out so you can see it all now press come over to this window press tab to enter edit mode press a once or twice until everything is selected and then press u on the keyboard and then choose smart uv project and then click ok and it should take a few seconds then you see uh, your unwrapped image over here press a to select everything press scale or s to scale and then just make it about twice the size now we can slide this back over then press tab to leave X to leave edit mode now let's go ahead and add a floor add mesh plane now let's scale this up no particular no particular amount and then I'm looking at it upside down for some reason and then I'm going to lower it to just till it just barely is you know intersecting with the bottom of the wall that way it's like dirt because it the wall would sort of sink into the dirt a little bit I'm going to press zero on the keyboard to go into camera view I'm going to lock camera to view, zoom out just a little bit, press home on the keyboard to maximize this space, and then I'm just going to position the camera. Now press 7 on the keyboard to go in the top side view. And then you got your lamp right here. Select your lamp, change it to sun, and then use nodes and then make that two and then give this a slightly yellow tint ever so slightly now go back to camera mode or camera view by pressing zero and then let's see what it looks like a little bit too glossy we gotta change the roughness to about 0.75 and there we go simple enough right if you have any questions let me know in the comment section later people